もちろんだ俺は海賊王になる男だ随分未来を見てやがる。Hey, hey, my dear pirates. And in today's video, we're going to talk about the possible new members of the Straw Hat Pirates by the end of One Piece. Will we see one or two more pirates join Luffy's crew to help him become the Pirate King? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. But first of all, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit. Already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell. Okay, now without further ado, let's get to this epic video. And well, my dear pirates, since the beginning of Luffy's journey, his real intention was in addition to forming a strong band with pirates skilled in specific areas, Luffy also wanted to form a true team of friends. And well, we saw that he achieved this. His band today goes beyond the pirates that we see in his crew of the Thousand Sunny. Today, Luffy has so many allies that, so to speak, his total crew already exceeds 5,000 members, forming the great fleet of the Straw Hats. As an example, we have the Pretty Pirates, who are the first division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet. The crew is commanded by Cavendish, bounty of 330 million. Altogether, there are 75 crew members. Already in the Bartow Club is a private crew originating from the East Blue, led by Bartolomeo, the cannibal, bounty of 200 million, having as a known member besides him the missionary Gambia. It is currently the second division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, with 56 members. The Hapo Army is a pirate crew led by the Qin Zhao family of the country of Kano, under the leadership of Sai, bounty of 210 million. The Hapo Army is the third division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, with around 1,000 people under command. The Ideal Pirates, formerly known as the Triple X Martial Arts Academy Alliance, is a pirate crew led by Ideal and is the fourth division of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, and consists of only four members, making it one of the smallest crews in the work. The Tontada Pirates, formerly known as the Tonta Corps, are the armed forces of the Tontada tribe created for Operation SOP, which was later reformed as a pirate crew. They are made up of 200 dwarves under Leo's command, forming the 5th Division of GFCP. The new giant warrior pirates are a pirate crew led by Hajruddin. Currently consisting of five crew, they were once part of Buggy's delivery before leaving to become the GFCP's sixth ship after the events of Dressrosa. The Yonta Maria's Grand Fleet is a group of 56 ships led by Orlumbus. She shares her name with the flagship Yonta Maria. It's the seventh division of the GFCP with 4,300 members. We can definitely put Wano's crew on that account too, and despite all that as expected, Luffy didn't like the idea of being a man with subordinates, but the seven captains ignored him and became his followers, thus creating a great fleet of the Straw Hats. The Straw Hat Grand Fleet is a fleet formed by seven pirate crews who pledged to serve under Monkey D. Luffy and his crew. In total, there are at least 5,640 members of these seven divisions, not counting the Straw Hat pirates themselves. However, even with so many allies beside him, Luffy could still have more allies. Mainly helping him directly on his journey. Several were the characters that we fans believe that joined Luffy's main gang Vivi, someone from the people of Skypea, like Wiper himself or Asia, Carrot, and currently Yamato. But as we've seen, the Straw Hats have remained in their current numbers, at least the ones traveling to the Thousand Sunny. But now that we've passed the Wano arc and after Vegapunk speech telling Luffy to take him from Egghead, the possibility has opened up again for new members to join the Straw Hat team. I would still really like Carrot to establish herself as a straw hat and for Yamato to join Luffy's team at some point. But seeing the current possibilities, it's very likely that at least three characters will join the flock at least temporarily. The first on the list is Jewelry Bunny. Yes, I know, she already has a crew, but look, her crew is small and quite unknown, and bringing her crew to Luffy's side would bring a lot of gains to her. In addition to the fact that Bunny's personality is very interesting and would bring a rivalry to Nami within the bunch. Of course, she could just ally with Luffy like so many others. The second on the list would be any of the Vegapunks. After all, having a scientist in the group would be very interesting. And since the main Vegapunk already has a connection with Dragon, besides directly asking Luffy to take him with him, it could be very interesting. Not to mention the fact that Vegapunk's entry into the Straw Hat crew could be the key to Luffy's Gear 6, as I said in a video. Plus, he could give us a ton of answers about the Devil Fruits, the ancient weapons, Inel, and the people of the moon, and who knows about the Lost Century. At last but not least, we have Katakuri. Yeah, I have to confess that I really like this character, and making him an ally of Luffy would be one of the most amazing things Oda could do. In fact, I would love to see him appear in the current arc to have his redemption out of all the characters I've talked about today. 
Katakuri wouldn't even need a very complex reason to make him join Luffy. Just because he's a very interesting character, it would make sense. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we talked about here today. But of course, if you made it this far, it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel. So help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone, and until the next video, 